All right, this is our walkthrough part two. I'm at the north or west end of the resort, non-club section. Uh, lots of accommodations over here. Lovely pathway that you can walk around the entire resort. This is the far end of the pool. You can walk through, uh, well, almost the entire end of the main pool, but um, you have to get out for a second to get through the middle. So that's the, that's the end of the pool. We're gonna go to the boardwalk. This is the edge of the resort. And so beyond here is a few tacky tourist shops and the like. Some massages too though, as well. That's where you get your boogie boards and kayaks and things. Here's the beach. So this is a really nice boardwalk to walk on. The pool is over there to my right. Uh, some hot tubs just ahead. Good area to walk in. Hola. There's lots of area on the beach. There's the hot tubs. And another red flag day. It's a rough beach here, that's for sure. However, we got to enjoy the ocean yesterday. Beautiful for one day at least. Pool bar over here to the right. Bathrooms. There's some nice loungers here at the front. If you want the comfier type, the less comfy type, but right by the beach or right there. I see some people have already claimed a few of these this morning. Again, the pool is still off to the right. There's a bridge across and that if you want to go for a walk in the pool, you have to get out at that point. You can have your spa treatment down by the ocean. Lots of ocean view over here and some swim up suites on the non-club side. It's very nice. All right, this is the back side of the lobster house. You can get in there instead of going through oregano. And over here, if you fancy some simple lunch, las olas, lunch on the beach. I think they're open 11 to four or something like that. Good spot to just grab a, a quick lunch there and get a burger or something. More pool on the right, uh, that's oregano. Um, it's a lovely spot for lunch because you can still have a peek at the ocean. Sitting area here at Las Olas uh, with a bar. And just over here is where they do the uh, suffer on the beach if you want to fork over many hundreds of United States dollars. And just over to the right there is the buffet again. Volleyball. Lots of area to sit on the beach. It's a great area to be. There's a bar just ahead. That's actually open for quite a long time during the day. All right, I'm gonna head back to the lobby. All the wind curtains are down, as they have been for quite a long time this week. Hola. And let's just take a step into the theater area to see where all the evening entertainment happens. This bar area here has a nice little spot to sit as well. And this is the outside of Magna, where I've had many meals. 
tickets for Excellence Club only. Well, the lights are off, but this is the theater area. They do um, a lot of music over there in the backstage. And then here's the, the main stage for the evening entertainment, which is usually at 9.30. sports bar for appetizer and drinks and games and conversation. Great spot. Was in there for a few football games. And Aroma. Aroma where you can get desserts and many types of beverages. And just over there is Agave and The Grill, the last two evening restaurants.